breaking news out of Washington. After the debacle on the Internet surrounding the rollout of Obamacare, we have learned tonight that because of these staggering computer problems, because of the millions of Americans who have tried to line up coverage but have been turned away instead, the administration now intends to slide the deadline for the so-called individual mandate for health care coverage. Details of this are still coming into us. We want to begin with NBC's Tom Costello, who's been covering it all since day one. He's in our D.C. room tonight. Tom, good evening. Hi, Brian. The White House tells NBC News it plans to move the deadline for individuals to be required to buy health insurance by as much as six weeks. As the law stands right now, to avoid a tax penalty, the uninsured need to start the application process. Start it by February 15th. With this change, the administration is trying to allow people to start the enrollment process by March 31st to avoid any financial penalty. Meanwhile, the work to fix the website is a top priority. 23 days into a very rocky rollout for the Affordable Care Act, CEOs from the country's top insurance companies were today troubleshooting at the White House as the website problems persist. We would start filling out the application um, through paper and pen, if anything. Today, we return to a Miami clinic where a thousand people have tried to enroll. So far, only five applications have gone through. We're going to try again to get them through the system. If that's still not working, we're going to have them either fill out a paper application or apply over the phone. On CNN last night, HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius dodged the question about whether she might resign. I think my job is to get this fully implemented and to get the website working right, and that's really what I'm focused on. In July, former HHS Secretary Mike Levitt met with the administration and wrote an editorial urging the White House to learn from our mistakes. The Bush White House also ran into technical glitches when rolling out Medicare Part D in 2006. Seniors not able to get their prescriptions. We were a bit unprepared uh, for the imperfections. Levitt says he doesn't like Obamacare, but now says too many people would be hurt if it doesn't work. I think they have about a month to get it fixed. If they get it fixed, people will move on. If they don't, uh, it, will, it will characterize and brand forever Obamacare. Meanwhile, in some states, customers that are getting through are experiencing sticker shock. They thought that this was going to be less expensive than what was available today. Michigan, for example, um, we're about 40% on average higher than the already the low-cost plans that we had in the market already. Tomorrow, congressional hearings into what's gone wrong with the website. NBC News has learned that the lead federal contractor, CGI, will testify that the website passed eight technical reviews prior to going live on October 1st, but also that a late government decision to require customers to register their personal information before they could check insurance prices, that that contributed to the glitches that have still got the websites all tied up. Brian. Tom Costello with this news late tonight. Administration intending to slide this deadline because of these troubles. Tom, thanks. As the World Series gets underway tonight in Boston, there will be a moment of silence for today's tragedy.